We are now one day out after hair transplant. What we're trying to show you are, is the, really the beauty of the sides that we've created and the spiral that's there. I don't know if you can see everything through the hair, but let's start with exactly here, the crown. The center of the crown, this is the swirl, and if you look at all the angles, they come down naturally. Show, uh, I mean, I show how that goes across the scalp where we follow the angles, that's right. And then show how it curves upward, the, the curve position. There's no abrupt changes in any of these, these hair follicles, and the angles are perfect. I'm gonna try to do a little bit more of a close-up, see if we can show this a little bit better in terms of the quality of the, the, the recipient sites as well as the graft placement. We are now at the upper portion of the central crown showing how the hair angles go upward and are gently curving over to the right to show you really how every angle, every little thing is, is, is interlocked well. The, the lift, in other words, the angulation of the hairs to the, relative to the scalp are placed about 40 some degrees in order to create a nice lift without being too angled up and not too flat because if you make it too flat you're going to create really no uh, visual density to this and the interlocking pattern is so important and you can see the detail of this. I mean it brought up a good point. We want to show you not only the uh, impressiveness of the uh, angulation but also the transition from the smaller graphs which I mean I'll show you with the uh, comb there over to uh, see if you can, yeah, there we go point look into the frame so you can see where we're going and then up toward the die follicular units these are the combination grafting approach where the area where it transitions over across what's called the vertex transition point which is where the shiny portion of the scalp is that's transitioning from the horizontal to the vertical portion of the scalp show the horizontal portion because it's hard to see in a two-dimensional video down to the, the vertical right exactly the upper portion of your screen is horizontal the bottom portion is vertical and that transition zone right there is where it's it shows a lot of see-through and what we've done is use those stronger diaphragmatic unit graphs in combination approach in order to create more visual density so that people looking at this gentleman from the back won't notice that. I really consider that what's like what I call the posterior hairline. So anyways a little subtlety in terms of vertex or crown recreation I wanted to show you a gentleman a day out and, and really to show you how easily this is camouflaged even at close range.